Joined by Hofstra head coach Simon Rudioff following a 1-0 win over Princeton tonight. Coach, congratulations on the win and your thoughts on the game. We played a good Princeton team. We know they're, they're super talented. They've got ability everywhere. Um, and we knew it was going to take a lot of energy and effort from us on the defensive end. And I think we showed that from it's the first time. You know, we, we saw baby steps against Oregon, but the first time the press was really good today. And, uh, Really proud of the team. Coach, after the, after the Oregon loss, you said that despite the loss, uh, you were, that was the first match that you were very happy with, with how, you, how your team played. Do you, do you think today was another step in the right direction for you guys? Yeah, I do. Uh, because I think Princeton's a better team than Oregon. And uh, I think we're starting to believe in what we've been telling them. I think the freshmen are starting to settle in and understand the tenacity of these games and uh, you know we've got one more game before CAAs and I think we're in, a, we're in a good place we've still got a lot of work to do I'm still still concerned about certain positions still need a bit more from different people at different times but overall we're exactly where we wanted to be at this time of the season. Coach on that penalty kick what's going through your mind? Uh, I can't tell you what was going through my mind, but uh, <coughs> it was a, a great save. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting one because we get the video share and she missed or one of the, I don't know what number, but shot the penalty kick exactly the same place and missed in her earlier game. So I, I assume she was going to go that way, but I had no clue. I don't know if Skyler did a research. Uh, on the video share program we've got. So if she did a research, then fair play to her. Um, but it was a fantastic save. And I think it was a soft PK, to be honest. I know, you know, if they're giving PKs for that kind of contact in the 18 yard box, then hey, we should have 20 PKs a game. Coach, um, what do you think some of the differences were between the performance tonight versus Sunday's loss versus Oregon? Um, I think we got a little bit of luck. You know, the, the first goal was uh, lucky. It was generated by hard work and effort. And uh, when, when you work hard and play at the tenacity we did tonight, uh, fortune favours the brave. And I think we, we, she did well to get that goal. Um, you know, on Sunday we didn't get that kind of luck. You know, and uh, I thought defensively we, we did the right things. We made good decisions when to play long, when to play short, when to protect the ball, when to just clear it. And uh, those decisions come when you've played a couple of games and you recognise the situation. We made a bad decision on Sunday and we got penalised for it. Today we didn't. And, uh, you know, Anya Sutner was brilliant today. Uh, Ellen Alsef was fantastic. And we, we had a lot of good performances. Coach, do you think you guys are, as you move into the last uh, game against Columbia and then CAA play, obviously with so many new players, is this? do you think you guys are going to be more of a uh, physical defensive team than, than say you were in, in last season and years past? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we've started to see the defensive structure of our team now, and I'm really proud and pleased of the effort the girls have done. Um, but we've got some beautiful... Uh, technical players and hopefully when we get that balance we'll, we'll have a, a fantastic team and a team that can compete for the championship I don't think we're there yet uh, we've still got a couple we've got another week before the CA start but I think we're on a good trajectory and I think we're playing well at the moment. Coach what was the main point of emphasis this week during practice and preparation for this game? It was just building on the Sunday game I think we needed a bit of confidence and like I said on on Sunday me and Jerry my associate head are grumpy old men and I think we've probably browbeated the players a bit too much over the last month because we're frustrated and we we anticipate and expect them to be better and when they haven't we're just frustrated with it and you know we're never gonna lower our expectations uh, but Leading up to Sunday, we were a bit more positive around training, a bit more positive with the girls, and I think the confidence showed tonight. I think they were really into it, they were excited, and I think they felt good about themselves. And that was the focus this week. 
we had to do a couple of little things, tactical stuff, but I think overall, I think it was just the fact that the players were feeling confident and ready to play. What do you think it is about Skyler and just playing Princeton? Just having two brilliant games in the last two years against a good team like that. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, Skyler's a, well, she's a goalkeeper, so they're interested, aren't they, goalkeepers? I can never understand any goalkeeper, and I've played a long time. Um, yeah, she, she, you could see with Skyler the confidence she, she owned Princeton last year and made some really big saves at key moments. And I think she felt the same, you know, this is the team I can play well against. This is a team I'm going to make, make saves and I'm going to make a difference. And she did again. She made a couple of big saves on crosses and uh, comfortably and confidently came for catches and did well. And then she made that big save on the penalty shot, which was impressive. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Coach. fellas. Thank you.